let's thank him for feeding us. Let's still bless his holy name this evening. And say, Father, thank you for feeding us. It is not because we have money to buy the food. Some people have much more money. And yet, they could not feed on the things we could feed on. They have prescriptions of only what they can eat. They dare not eat some other few things. But let's give him glory and give him honor because we can eat. Let's thank him because we are not, uh, uh, they are not passing tube into our system with which to feed us. Let's give him praise and glory and give him adoration and worship him and exalt him and magnify him because of all that he has done for us. Let's appreciate his holy name and say, Father, we thank you. Jesus, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. There's no one like unto you. There's no one like unto you. Ancient of days, lily of the valley, bright and the morning star, we thank you. We bless you. We praise you. We worship you. We exalt you. We magnify you. We reference you. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified. Be thou lifted high. Hallelujah to your holy name. We give you praise. A songwriter say, my hallelujah belongs to him. Our hallelujah belongs to him. Oh, we thank you, Lord. The God who did not allow our mouth to become sour. He did not allow people to say, but you go to church. He did not allow evil things to befall us. He's been our shield and protector. He's been our guy. He's been our anchor. We magnify you. He has been our present help in the time of need. We worship you. We exalt you for previous months and previous weeks and previous days. We thank you for the days ahead, for the months ahead, and for the weeks ahead. We exalt your holy name. We magnify you. We bless you, Lord. My hallelujah belongs to you. 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 You deserve. praises all of my praises belong to you all of my worship all of my worship belongs to you you deserve it thank him and, and say father we thank you because our praises belong to you our worship belongs to you our adoration belongs to you our, our, we thank you lord we thank you lord we thank you lord you did not allow us to be worshiping idols the bible said they are gods but they have mouth and yet they could not speak they have ears and they could not hear they have mouth they cannot speak 
but we are serving the living God, the God that hears. He, the Bible says, unto you shall all flesh come. You are the God that answered prayer. And unto you shall all the flesh come. We thank you because you are a prayer answering God. A songwriter said, prayer answering God. We offer praise. Prayer answering God. We offer prayer. You are the prayer answering God. And so we have come to bless you this evening. We have come to worship you. We have come to magnify you. We have come to adore you. We have come to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name. We worship you. The God who did not allow the intention of men to be fulfilled against us. If God has opened the hearts of men to make you see the hearts of men, to see the things that people are thinking towards you. We saw the example of Paul the Apostles. The Bible says of men gather together and they swore that until they kill him, they will not desist. But God, you preserve their lives. You do not allow the intention of men to come to pass. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We magnify you. We exalt you. We praise you. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, we thank you this evening. Thank you for the past months. Thank you for the past weeks. Thank you for the past days. Thank you for the past hours. Thank you for the past seconds. We give you praise. We give you glory. From the depth of our heart this month, this first day of September, we have come to say thank you, Lord. We have come to say thank you, Lord. We have come to say thank you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We magnify you. We bless your holy name. We thank you. We praise you. Thank you for preservation. Thank you for protection. Thank you for being our shield. Thank you for being our, 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 our buckler. Thank you for being our fortress. You are the present help in the time of need. Thank you because you have never came too late. We give you praise and glory. We give you honor and adoration. We thank you. You have been preserving us. It's well over a year that this virus began. And Lord, it's been ravaging. They have been having different kinds of, 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 of tones. They had Delta today. They had the other one before now. And we don't know which one will come again. But Lord, you have preserved us. You have kept us. We give you glory. Thank you for leadership. I remember last year, January, when a word of the Lord came across that we should anoint everybody in our local assembly and use Psalm 91, our comprehensive insurance policy. We thank you, Lord, because you have stayed true to your word. You kept us, oh God. You preserved us. You kept us. We give you glory. We worship you. We magnify on you. You have not left us as an orphan. We praise your holy name. We worship you. We praise you. We thank you. Father, we say thank you. Be thou exalted in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we are here again this evening to look up unto you for this new month. You have been our shield and buckler and preserve and protector and supply in the previous months and days. We are asking in the same vein that you will be just the same and much more to us in these coming months in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's be, before we begin to pray, more than enough, more than enough, more than enough. And I want to challenge you this month, personally, <laughs> I want to challenge you to hold the hand of God for something. And say, Lord, this matter, sort it out. 
hold the hand of God. Because what God is saying to us, I kept hearing this. Limited, myopic man. I was thinking only about, you know, finances. That is more than enough. But the Lord began to say to me, no. <laughs> I'm more than enough in every ramification of life. He said, what is it that you want? He said, according to Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20, he said, I'm able to do exceeding. Exceeding means I'm more than enough. I can do exceeding abundantly. Exceeding means more. 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 More than what you're expecting. More than what you're expecting. And you know, he said to me, <laughs> he said, I can give you more than safety. Do you want safety? Psalm 46 verse 1. The Passion Translation says, God, you are such a safe and powerful place to find refuge. That's the Passion Translation. He said, you have you are proven, you are a proven help in time of trouble. More than enough. More than enough. And always available whenever I, whenever I need you. <laughs> Praise God. I remember a day I was praying at night and a sister called me. I, I just sent her a text. I said, <laughs> not now, please. I didn't know she was, you know, in the middle of something. But the God that we serve will not send you a text and say, I'm busy. I'm busy. <laughs> he won't tell you I'm busy. I don't have time now. <laughs> I don't have time now. So God is saying this month, what exactly do you need me for? I am more than enough. I can exceed your expectation. I can surpass your thoughts. I can surpass. I am more than enough. Do you want safety? I can give you more than safety. That's Psalm 46 verse 1 say, I am your refuge. I can give you a refuge. Not only safety, but refuge. I can give you refuge. In, uh, in Psalm, Psalm 50 verse 10 to 11. Psalm 50 verse 10 to 11. The Bible says, A cattle upon a thousand hill is the one that owns it. That scripture says, say The world, the old world is mine. Is mine. Everything. Everything. So what do we want? You want wealth? He can give you much more than what you can ever think of. Like Ephesians 3.20 told us, whatever you can think, it can exceed your thoughts. Whatever you're thinking, it can surpass it. Whatever you're thinking, whatever you're thinking, it can surpass it. So it's a God of more than enough. Is a God of more than enough. Are you, are you desiring of wisdom? In James chapter 1, verse 5 and 6, he says, If anyone needs wisdom, they should come to me. They should come to me because I give wisdom. A version says, the, the Passion Translation that I read says, he said, I won't judge you because of your lack of wisdom. He said, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you wisdom. I'll give it to you. I'll give it. So, do you need wisdom this month? You're asking the Lord for exceptional wisdom. He can give you much more than what you expect. Much more than what you're asking for. And I want to challenge every one of us this month. Hold the hands of God on something. And say, prove that you are the one who have spoken more than enough. More than enough. More than enough. More than enough. Is it peace you want? In John chapter 14 verse 27. John 14 27. He says, my peace I give to you. The Passion Translation says, not like the fragile peace that the world gives you. Job. I remember a man of God said, he says, your job can give you a lot of benefits. They can give you health insurance. Like somebody was talking to me during the week. But they can't give you health. They can't keep you healthy. They can give you health insurance. If you are sick, go to the hospital. But they can't keep you healthy. But this God can give you more than health insurance. He can keep you healthy. Third John chapter 1 verse 3 says, uh, 1, he said, But beloved, above all things, I wish that you prosper and be in health. And be in health. It means you are not sick. And be in health. And be in health. And be in health. I was talking to a couple of people the other day. And I said, how many of you have gone to the hospital this month? 
Um, I say, okay, maybe you have gone for a checkup. I've got, no, I'm not talking about checkup. <laughs> we're, we're not talking about check. We're not talking about annual physical. Some people have to visit hospital. More than enough health. It can give you much more than health. Sorry, health insurance. It can keep you healthy. That's more than enough. More than enough. And paraventure, you and I become sick. He said, I'm the Lord that healed thee. He can heal us from the sicknesses. More than enough. Are you trusting God for joy? Joy, 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 joy. He can give you more than enough. He said, my joy I give to you. <laughs> I give in John chapter 3, verse 29. Let's look at that John chapter 3, verse 29. Before we begin to pray. John chapter 3, verse 29. John 3, 29. Look at what it says. He said, he that had the bride is the bridegroom. But a friend of the bridegroom which standed and heareth him rejoiced greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This, this my joy, this my joy, therefore, is fulfilled. My joy. God can fulfill you. He can give you abundance of joy. In the same John chapter 16 verse 24, he talks about joy. He says, hitherto you have asked nothing. Ask so that your joy may be full. The Amplified says, so that your joy can be complete. So that your joy can be overflowing. That's more than enough. Overflowing. When it's overflowing, it's more than enough. It's more than enough. It's more than enough. So this evening, I want us to speak to the Lord. I don't know what exactly and specific you are trusting him. We're going to be doing this this month. Oftentimes, <laughs> we're going to be breaking and praying, spending time as individual. I'm going to give us five minutes. It looks like a big time, but I'm going to give us five minutes. I want you to talk to the Lord personally, personally. What exactly are you trusting him for this month? Joy, safety, health. Ask him for more than enough. Because that Ephesians 3.20 say he's able. He's able to do exceedingly, the word exceeding. Exceeding means more than enough. Exceeding. Exceeding. He can do exceeding. He can do exceeding. 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 Outside the fire, we're told on Sunday, he has the ability. But the word I'm using is the word exceeding. Exceeding. That's more than enough. So he has the ability to do more than enough. So what exactly do you want to ask of him this month? I want you to go to the Lord. Go to the Lord and say, Lord, this matter, this month, you are the God of more than enough. You are the God of more than enough. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8 to 11 says, And God is able to make all grace abound towards you. <laughs> abound towards you. He can make it abound towards you. The Passion Translation says, God is more than ready to overwhelm you with every form of grace. So that you would have more than enough of everything. Being completely self-sufficient in him. And have abundance for every good work and act of charity. God, he said, this generous God who supplies abundant seed. Another, he said, he can make you overflow with abundance. You have abundance and you overflow. Please speak to him tonight, speak to him tonight. Speak to him. You are the God of more than enough. I need peace more than enough. I need tranquility. I need, the Bible says, when he gives you quietness, who can make trouble? That's more than enough. Who can make trouble when he gives you quietness? Do you have battles? Ask him for quietness, 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 quietness. Do you want joy? Ask him for joy. Ask him for joy. He can give you overflowing joy. The Bible calls it joy unspeakable, full of glory. More than enough, 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 more than enough. Lord, I receive it. I receive it. More than enough, more than enough, more than Do you want healing or health or wholesome? Ask him, he can give to you more than enough, more than enough, more than is a more than enough God. Is a more than he can give to you more than enough. He can he has the ability and he can exceed and surpass your expectation. 
He can exceed and surpass what you ask or think. He can exceed and surpass what can you speak to him this evening and just tell him that thing you want, that thing you want. That thing you want, is it healing? Is it settlement in one aspect of life or the other? Is a God of more than enough. Is more than enough, more than enough, more than enough, more than is a more than enough God. And he can give to you much more than you can ask or think. Can you please open your mouth and speak to him tonight? Speak to him tonight. Speak to him tonight. In John 16, 24, he said, He that oh, you have asked nothing in my name. You have asked nothing in my name. He said, Ask and ye shall receive that your joy may be full. Can you please be sure you're praying? Can you please ask of him tonight? Just ask for him, of him tonight. Say, Lord, this matter, I heard that you are a God of more than enough. You had the ability to give me that which I'm asking for and much more. But please ask him tonight. Ask him. That John 14, 16, 16, 24 says, You have either to ask nothing in my name. It means you have been asking in other names. But tonight, ask in the name of Jesus. Ask in the name of Jesus. Ask for health and wholeness. Ask in the name of Jesus. Ask, ask, ask in the name of Jesus. Ask in the name of Jesus. The God that who, whom I serve and whose I am, he will answer you. Ask is the God of more than enough. all. He's able to exceed our expectation. He's able to exceed what we ask of him. Are you asking for abundance? Ask of him. He can give to you much more than you are asking. Can you speak to him tonight? Can you speak to him tonight? Can you ask him tonight? Lord, I receive this tonight. Peace, tranquility, quietness in my home, in my business, in my finances, in my workplace, in the, my family, in the name of Jesus. I receive quietness. I receive peace. I receive peace. I receive peace. I receive peace, tranquility. In the name of the Lord, I receive health and wholeness. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I receive health and wholeness. Is the God of more than enough? He is able to do. The Bible says, is able to do exceedingly. He can exceed. He is able to do exceeding. He can give to you abundantly. And the Bible went for that to say more. I, he can exceed and surpass your expectation. Can you speak to him tonight? Say, Lord Jesus, I'm told you can exceed my expectation. According to Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Oh God, exceeded, 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 exceeded. You are the God of more than enough. You are the God of more than enough. You are the God of more than enough. Exceeded, please be sure you're praying. Be sure you're praying. Be sure you're praying. Be sure you're praying. Be sure you're praying in the name of Jesus. Be sure you're praying. Be asking him. Ask him, please. Ask him. He said to me, You have hitherto asked nothing. He said, Ask in my name. Ah, sometimes we grumble, sometimes we just murmur. That is not asking in his name. But they say we should ask in his name. Ask in my name. Ask in my name. Ask in my name. I had him say to us, ask in my name. I'm, I'm able to give to you that thing. And I can surpass it. I can exceed it. I can exceed it. I am the God of more than enough. Can you please ask him this evening? Ask of him tranquility. Ask of him peace. Ask of him finances, financial breakthrough. Ask of him, ask of him anything. Ask, just ask, just ask, just ask, just ask in the name of the Lord Jesus. Just ask in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. In Matthew chapter 7, 
Matthew chapter 7. Want us to look at that scripture? We're going to pray. Matthew chapter 7. Look at God is painting a logic here. You know, he's, paint, he's giving us a logical reasoning. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 11 to 13. Matthew chapter 7. What a logical God we serve. <laughs> Look at what he said. Chapter 7, verse 11 to 13. He said, if ye then, being evil, see, he's appealing to our reasoning, know how to give good gifts unto your children. How much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask? Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even to them. For this is the law and the prophet. Verse 13 say, Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and brothers the way, the leader to destruction, and many there be which go in therein. But ask. In verse 7 of this same scripture, I say, ask. <laughs> I remember in those days, it's a man we used to call Matthew 7 7. Ask. 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 He's saying, ask. And he's saying, ask for good things. He says, if ye who are evil know how to give good things to your children, how much more will I give to you, your heavenly father, give to you good things? I want you to ask of him good things tonight. Good things of life. Good things. Good things. Good things. Good things. Good things. Is there anything threatening you? Talk, tell it to him. 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 Good things. Your word says you can give to me good things. Matthew chapter 7 verse 11. Say you can give to me good things. Ask for the good things tonight. The good things. Are you asking for success in one endeavor or the other? Ask for the good things. Good things. Good things. Good things. Good things. He said I can. If ye who are evil can give good things. How much more can I give you good things? Good things. Ask for good things. In the name of Jesus. Ask for good things tonight. Good things. Ask for good things. Good things of life. Tranquility. Peace. Increase. Ask for good things. Ask for good things. Ask. Ask. Ask for joy. Ask that there will not be a downtime. Internet people call something downtime. It doesn't matter how good your internet is. Sometimes you have a downtime. But it can give you, it can make you be at uptime all the time. Ask for good things. Ask for good things. Not a fluctuating lie. You're happy today, you're sad tomorrow. It can give you complete joy. The Bible calls it complete joy. Complete joy. He can complete your joy. Another version of scripture calls it overflowing joy. Say, Lord, I receive it today. This month I receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus, I receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus, I receive it. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Luke chapter 18. We're still praying. These are the things I felt the Lord was bringing <laughs> across me, across my heart, as we look unto him this month. Luke chapter 18, from verse 1 to 8. Verse 1 to 8. And the Bible says, Speak a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. The word faint means to grumble. If you are not praying, you will be says. If you are not praying, you will be a prey. You will be prey. You will be prayed on by the enemy. Is the enemy praying upon you? It's because you are not praying. You are not praying. You are not praying. We can sit down with our books. If you are a student, even teachers read to prepare for class. 
No teacher goes to the to his to prepare for class and do just do five, ten minutes and is done for the day in preparing for the class. Am I correct, ma? <laughs> you lecture. <laughs> and assistant, you teach. You don't go to your to, to prepare for class and just spend ten minutes and get off. You spend quality time preparing. Look at this, look at that. Why is it that when it comes to God, the prayer is just brief? Brief. Two, three minutes, and you're done. And God said, no, you are not asking. You are not asking. If you won't prepare for lectures as a lecturer or a teacher, within that little time, <laughs> you are the one teaching. The student can't query you. They don't even know as much as you do. But you want to know more. You want to be able to answer all their questions. And so you spend time studying, looking at things you already know again and again. This month is, is time to spend more time talking to God. That's why I say you have not asked anything. You have not asked anything. You have not asked anything. And this Luke chapter 18 we're looking at says, he says you should pray. That's why we grumble. Because we are not praying. We're not praying. Sometimes we're only murmuring. We're only murmuring. And God doesn't answer murmuring. He answers prayer. And in verse 2, the Bible says there was, this, there was in a city a judge which feared not God. You know the story. Nor regarded men. I'm going somewhere. And there was a widow in that city. And she came unto him and said, Avenge me of my adversary. That's prayer. The man didn't answer. The Bible says he didn't fear God and he didn't regard men. <laughs> and in verse 4, the Bible says, and he will not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, do I fear not God, nor regarded men. Look at where I'm going to. <laughs> Look at where I'm going to. In verse 5, he said, yet because this widow do what? Are you with your Bible? This widow do what? This, this widow do what? I can't hear you speak louder, please. This widow do what? Bothered me. Thank you, man. Your version say, bothered me. Why don't you bother God? Bother God. The word bother does not mean one off. Hello, man. If I'm to bother you, is it, is it just telling you something once and I'm off? No. The word bothered means, I said, oh, Sister Wilson, what about the money you, talk, you spoke about? He said, okay, 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 no problem. I've sent you a text. I've sent you, I've called you. I've sent, oh, please, if you see her. I said, I'm going to see her. Please, if you see her. I said, ah, why are you bothering me? That's bothering. God wants us to bother him this month. He said, bother me, bother me, bother me, bother me, bother me. <laughs> Another version said, persisted. You have not persisted with God. Another version says, you have not troubled God. You, have not, you, want, you, are, you are treating God like a gentleman. Say, no, I don't want to bother him. You better bother him. <laughs> it means he wants you, to, you and I to bother him so that we will not be bothered. <laughs> Does that make sense? When we bother him in the place of prayer, we will not be bothered. And so that's what we'll be doing this month. We want to bother God. We want to trouble him. According to the old King James. Want to persist with him in the place of prayer. Another version says we want to, we want to, we want to bother, him, want to pester him, want to pester him. And so this judge who does not respect God nor nor regard man, say, uh, uh, I'm going to answer this lady because she's bothering me. And God wants us to bother him this month. And so we're going to bother him again. We're going to bother him again. We're going to bother him again. <laughs> We're going to bother him again. I don't know what exactly you're trusting him for, but you're going to bother him again. You're going to bother him. <laughs> you're going to bother him. I want to give you time again to bother him. Speak to him again. It's a time to speak to him. This man will be doing more of this because I perceive he say, he's saying to us, bother me. Say you have not asked anything. He say you're fainting. You're only grumbling. <laughs> you're a prayer because you don't pray. The enemy is praying on you because you don't pray. But bother me. Bother me. If the judge can't do what the widow wanted, because the widow persisted, another version used persisted, you and I must also persist with God in the place of prayer. Can we tonight go to him again and say, Lord Jesus, I receive grace to persist. 
I will not give up. In the name of Jesus, I will not give up. 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 I will not be tired. I will bother you this month. I, much more than I've ever done, I'll bother you. This month, I will bother you. <laughs> I'll bother you. Help me to bother you. Help me. Grant me grace to bother you. To persist. To persist. To persist. To persist. To keep coming. To keep coming. And say, oh God, I will never let you go unless you bless me. Change my story. Change my story. Change my story. Change my story. The Bible said the NX expectation of men. Men are waiting for the manifestation of the sons of men. Ah, your grace is yet to manifest. Your anointing is yet to manifest. Oh God, arise and do something. Arise. Arise. Please don't keep your mouth shut. Please pray. Please make sure you're bothering him. Arise and do something. Arise and do something. You said in your word I should bother you. You say I should pester you. Lord, I've come again tonight. And I say arise and do something. Do something new. Do something tangible. Do something formidable. Arise, oh God. And let your enemies be scattered. Arise, oh God. And let your enemies be scattered. Let them flee like sharp before the wind. In the name of Jesus. Arise and let your enemies be scattered. Arise and let your enemies be scattered. Upper room experience, oh God. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus. This month I cry for an upper room experience. I cry for an upper room experience in the name of Jesus. You say we should bother you. Lord, I've come again tonight to bother you. I've come again tonight. Irikatali Bakuri Bazaira. And Takairi Bosuria. Elegedubra Zikitelia. Anta Karaba. Lebruske Liga Ruba Sanda. Ekuta Liba Yegedege. Orobo Zutoria. Anta Kaira Basuria. Erugadaba Zeketeria. Nantopra. Enklati. Robra Zeketeria. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I refuse to be a prey to the enemy. I refuse to be a prey to sickness. I refuse to be a prey to lack. I refuse to be a prey to one. Ah, that is why I'm praying tonight. That is why I'm bothering you, oh God. Arise for my help. Arise for my help. The Bible says you are the present help in the time of need. Arise for my help in the name of Jesus. Arise and help me. In the name of Jesus, that woman said, the king said, if God my help, arise, arise as the help that you are. In the name of the Lord Jesus, arise as the help that you are. Arise as the help that you are. Arise as the help that you are. In the name of, arise, arise, oh God. Arise, oh God. Arise, oh God, as the help that you are. In the name of Jesus, arise, O oh God, as a help that you are. In the name of Jesus, arise, O oh God, as a help that you are. In the name of Jesus, arise, O oh God, arise, O oh God, arise, O oh God, and send me timely help. Arise, O oh God, and send me timely help. Arise, O oh God, and send me timely help. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you are the and so this month I receive grace to bother you. I receive grace to ask. I receive grace not to be weary. I receive grace not to be tired. I receive grace not to complain. I receive grace not to murmur, but to bother you. To bother. And so the Bible says he cried. He cried. The man had a passion. You know, there's a way I can talk. I can talk just like Sister Wilson. Say hello. I can, I can just be that soft. <laughs> but, but this, the Bible says he cried. Crying does not suggest, eh? it doesn't suggest that 
suggests that he was passionate. The word cry suggests he was passionate. And what was he saying? The Bible says, say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. I guess for a little while, that was all he was saying. That was all he was saying. That's all he was saying. And tonight, I want us to also ask him for that. Say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy. But please say it passionately. 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 The Bible says he cried. It implies that there was passion. There was passion in his request. Can you add passion to your request tonight? Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on my health. Have mercy on my life. Have mercy on my destiny. Have mercy on my ministry. Have mercy on my finances. Have mercy on my family. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Lord Jesus, have mercy. Have mercy on me. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Any kataida gadubra zaina. Karuba zeli kataida. Ukatala ba shandala ba. Era ba kuri ba zaire ketupra. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy on this walk. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy on my life. Have mercy on my ministry. Have mercy, O God, in the name of Jesus on this assignment. Have mercy on my family. Have mercy on your church. Every single man, boy, girl, all in this assembly. Have mercy on all. God of mercy. Have mercy me. Have mercy on us. 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 In te copa ligado. Zeliba kriba zante keria. Anta kaide bo zuteria. Ukaraba zente lebo kuria. Nande bos ke libro. Eligado bra ligada. Eshketeria maruga degele eruba kaira gado riba kalaba zanta lagade jekupa ligaro eskataria gladi broskele bozuta gladaba ziri ba kaira ba jaligado eseketeria have mercy have mercy Jesus thou son of David thou son of David have mercy on every single man boy girl woman married ah or widow in this place. Have mercy, have mercy. This month, let your mercy locate us. 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 Jesus, thou son of David, let your mercy locate me. Let your mercy locate every single one under the sound of my voice, online or on site. Let your mercy locate us. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let your mercy have mercy, have mercy, have mercy on our prayer life. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, and deliver us from grumbling, deliver us from fainting, deliver us from murmuring. In the name of Jesus, have mercy, have mercy, ah, have mercy, have mercy. In the name of Jesus, have mercy. In the name of Jesus, we refuse to continually be a prayer. Have mercy. Lord Jesus, have mercy. Have mercy. In the name of Jesus, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. A kupa lida guide of Oshanda. Have mercy, O God. Have mercy. Have mercy. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have mercy on us. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy on us. Father, we come to you tonight. That you just be merciful unto us. This month, that you be merciful unto us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your word says, since the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence. To establish your kingdom, it takes violence. It doesn't take gentility. It takes violence. And the Bible says the kingdom of God is not in meat and drink but is in joy. It means to have joy. It takes violence. 
To have peace, it takes violence. We must be violent. We're asking, oh God, for anointing for violence. Hmm. That's what your word says, Luke 17, 17. Say, from the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence. And only violent men, they take it by force. We're asking for grace to be violent in the place of prayer this month. We're asking, oh God, that will not be quiet, will not be gentle in the place of prayer this month. But that will be violent in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that you help us to take all that belongs to us by force in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That will be able to establish your kingdom in this land and in the hearts of men by violence this month. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. We decree and declare this month open in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Your word says in that Matthew chapter 7 verse 11. He says, if ye who be evil will give good things, how much more will your Father in heaven give good things to them that ask? This month, we ask for good things. We ask for increase. We ask for peace. We ask for tranquility. We ask for enlargement. We ask for expansion. We ask, oh God, for forthrightness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We ask, oh God, for health. We ask for wholeness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We ask for stability in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and glory. We worship and adore you. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen and amen. If you have anything to give as offering, just package it and give it with the assurance of the God that we serve, the God that can exceed expectations, and we exceed your expectation in the name of Jesus. We just pray on whatever we have, and we share the grace, and I believe we just give it. Father, we thank you for the offering of your children today. For those who don't have, we ask that you bless them also so that next time they'll be able to give to you. For those of us who are given, your word says you are able to do exceedingly abundantly. You can exceed. You are a God more than enough. Please bless us much more than we expect this month in the name of Jesus. By the reason of our seed, we give you praise and glory. We worship you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Please share the grace together in fellowship. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shalom.